हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक अगेन एट अ डिफरेंट टीटीएस इंजन दिस टाइम इट वी विल बी यूजिंग द माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज टीटीएस इंजन टेक्स्ट टू स्पीच इंजन एंड इट इज़ आल्सो ए वेरी गुड ऑल्टरनेटिव टू गूगल टेक्स्ट टू स्पीच एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली द एप्लीकेशन पाइथन स्क्रिप्ट विल बी बिल्डिंग एंड वी हैव गिवन रॉ टेक्सट राइट हेयर इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज हेलो दिस इज अम्पल टेक्सट टू कन्वर्ट टू स्पीच and we will be creating an output dot mp3 file so if i execute this python script here you will see on the left hand side this is the python script and if i just write here python app3.py so just notice on the left hand side a file will be created which will actually use the microsoft text to speech engine and it will convert the text into mp3 file you will see output dot mp3 file is generated if i try to play this file Hello. Hello. This is a sample text to convert to speech. You can see the how the quality of the voice is so crisp, crisps, and as compared to different Google text to speech engine, the voice quality is very good in Microsoft text to speech engine. So it is actually using this module, guys, which is Edge underscore TTS. And if you don't know about it, just go to PYPI and. just for search for this which is edge underscore tts this is actually a microsoft edge it's a python module that allows you to use microsoft edge online text to speech service so if you just search for microsoft edge online text to speech service uh, it's a ai ai to speech voice reader it is actually using this in the background and the famous thing is that you don't need to actually provide any api key you can use it unlimited number of time this is actual module you can even install it right here inside your command line you should have python installed we are using the latest version of python at recording of this video which is 3.12.2 after that you just need to type this command edge e d g e dash g t t s this is actual command guys simply install that and uh, you can even run this library from the command line as well so edge tts this is actual command and here you need to provide you can even provide subtitles as well so this is actually command which is there if you want to this is a command edge tts and here we provide the text hello world and it will actually write the media which is hello.mp3 and you can even write the subtitles as well hello.vtt if you just execute this command you will basically see two files will be created hello.mp3 and hello.vtt which is subtitle file you will see that file hello world so you can see that you can even run this on the command line as well or you can programmatically use it in a python application as well so we will be looking at a simple python script how we can do that so i will show you step by step so first of all we need to import this library at the very top edge underscore tts and then we will import another module which is a built in module i think async io if you just search for this module let me also tell you what this module does this module is actually be a built in module of python which requires if you want to use async code inside your python application then it uses async code with the help of this module we can define asynchronous code inside our python application so we will de define the main function in python application so inside the main function we will actually provide the text right here we will say i will provide my name is and i am 27 years old and i am from india you can provide as much text that you want guys it doesn't have any sort of restriction you can provide punctu punctuations full stop all that stuff and it will speak uh, very good so after that you need to provide the output file name let me just give it as voice.mp3 and then we will basically use this module asyncio.run and then we will run this function which is text to mp3 we will define this function which will be a async function we will provide the text and the file name 
So now this will be a simple async function. We can't define like this. We will get an error. So this function needs to be async. Just add this keyword async. So there is an async function right here and now we need to simply initialize our Microsoft Edge TTS engine. So this contains a communicate method and here we need to basically provide the text and the language. It also supports different languages, English language or any native language that you won't need to provide. We are using English US and then this area neural. So if you want to go to the documentation of this Microsoft Edge TTS engine, you can read more language codes which are available or you can use chat GPT for doing that. And then we will can use await keyword right here to actually save this file as a output result oh sorry voice.mp3 and after that you can actually write a simple message on the screen that your mp3 file saved this is all that we need to do guys if i actually say python app3.py you will see voice.mp3 will be saved and if i play this my name is gautam sharma and i am 27 year old and i am from india you can see I think it's the best voice that I heard in a TTS engine. It is also better than Google text to speech engine as well. It sounds like little bit robo robotic but this voice is sounding a very good voice such as a very similar to human. So I think Microsoft Edge TTS engine is best in terms of the voice quality and uh, you can basically see and uh, if you want to play with this you can use a tool called as chat gpt because don't need to do uh, don't need to read documentation instead you just ask a question that provide uh, change the language to hindi and arabic just do that and it will tell you the example for your respective language so you it can it will tell you exactly what you need to uh, you will be see various language codes are available so for Hindi it is HI it is spoken in India so basically you need to say HI which stands for Hindi and IN stands for India and Swara Neural but these are different languages and neural networks are used right here in Edge, uh, Microsoft Edge TTS engine you will see uh, these are neural networks voices that are coming right here and here we need to provide the text in a Hindi language so you do need to paste Hindi language text just use Google Translate to actually convert your text to a respective language so if you just uh, save this file so if you see yeah, ek hai. so you can see that guys it is speaking on different languages this is for Arabic language these are voices from female voices you can even have a voice from male as well so this is for I think yeah So as you can see Arabic text is written and we can change the language, the voice here. So you can basically use chat GPT guys to actually play with this. You can, it will give you any example that you have. So you can see that. So it's a very good uh, text to speech engine guys. Microsoft Edge TTS engine it is actually using neural network we just type here Microsoft Edge text to TTS engine so you can basically this module comes right here you will see that so we are actually using it and it supports multiple languages guys you will see you can also look the list of voices that it has 
there is a command right here edge dash tts and then you can list out all the voices there is an option dash dash list dash voices and it will exactly tell you how many voices are there in this TTS engine you will see you can scroll down you can see all these languages all these voices are there you will see that for different languages for different countries these are the languages which are there so you can test out each and every voice you can see that this is for Africans this is each country code each country there are female and male voices you will see that so you can test out each you can actually make a tool as well online which actually provides text to speech for users and it's a very good library guys that i wanted to show you thank you very much for watching this video if you are liking this content please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well share this video with your friends and i will be seeing you in the next video